Mr. Golding sent a clear message to the UK as he congratulated Barbados for becoming a republic. The Jamaican politician, who is the leader of the opposition and president of the People's National Party PNP, made it clear republicanism will play a major role in his party's manifesto for the next election. He said, we are committed to Jamaica achieving this critical step. This opportunity for deeper national self-realization must be presented to the Jamaican people. We too can join Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, Dominica and now Barbados on shedding this residual aspect of the colonial past. The PNP last led the government between 2012 and 2016. In his message, Mr. Golding also paid tribute to Barbados for swiftly taking the steps to cut its remaining ties with the Crown. He said, Prime Minister MIA Motley and her government have demonstrated what is possible when vision and plans become effective action. To the people of Barbados, I extend my heartiest congratulations for completing this outstanding element of your national independence. Special congratulations to Dame Sandra Mason who was sworn in as the country's first president, thereby becoming the head of state of Barbados. This ISNT the first time Mr. Golding uses Barbados as an example to push his country, often seen by commentators as the next possible nation to ditch the Queen as head of state, further towards republicanism. Speaking to his parliament last month, he said, It is worth noting that our sister island in the CARICOM, Barbados, has recently taken the required steps to repatriate their sovereignty by establishing a Barbadian as their head of state and first president. That was a bipartisan exercise concluded in a timely manner from start to finish, through cooperation between the government and opposition in Barbados. I wish to commend the he then urged the leaders of Jamaica across the political spectrum to join forces on this issue and even set a possible date for his nation to become a republic. He said, we in Jamaica should follow now, right away and without delay. The establishment of a non-executive president as our head of state in replacement of its English monarch was agreed by both major political parties over a decade ago. Surely, Madam Speaker, we can work together to make the required constitutional steps to make this happen in the year coming, which is the nation's 60th anniversary year. Barbados became the world's newest republic on November. Its former governor-general, Sandra Mason, was sworn in as the country's first president during a ceremony attended also by Prince Charles. The Prince of Wales traveled to Barbados not to bid farewell to the country but to highlight the bonds that will continue to link the Caribbean nation and the UK, including the Commonwealth. During the poignant ceremony, Prince Charles also addressed one of the darkest moments in British history, slavery. The Queen, who was the head of state of Barbados from its independence from the UK in 1966 until Tuesday, also paid tribute to the country in her first message to Barbados as a republic. She wrote, I first visited your beautiful country on the eve of independence in early 1966, and I am very pleased that my son is with you today. Since then, the people of Barbados have held a special place in my heart, it is a country rightfully proud of its vibrant culture, its sporting prowess, and its natural beauty, that attracts visitors from all over the world, including many people from the United Kingdom.